Mabuhai, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. Just a few sentences from an article from AOL.com about the importance of having joint banking accounts. It's called um, Professor Couples Who Have Joint Accounts Stay Together Longer. Do you think that's the case? Eventually, you know, when you get married, um, you'll have to decide what to do with your money, and that's always an issue that comes up in one form or another is money. But let me read a few things here. It says, the couple that banks together stays together. That's the finding of a Cornell University and University of Colorado study that found the couples who have joint bank accounts often have happier relationships. The study found that 62% of couples who had a joint account also spent money in the same way. Well, that's a, a good thing to do. Otherwise, you'd be going crazy with uh, different financial um, perspectives. And it says here that they studied thousands of couples and looked at their transaction data as well as surveys over many years studying their relationship satisfaction. What they found out was that couples who have joint accounts, they stay together longer. And according to Joe Gladstone, assistant professor of marketing at the University of Colorado, and um, I wanted to talk about that because obviously you could have the perspective, uh, well, it's my money and um, then there's her money. And if she wants to earn her own money, that's fine. But until then, it's, it's my money. But the word joint here, joint account, isn't all of marriage a joint lifestyle? I would think so. And that the money aspect of it would be looked at jointly too. For example, my philosophy here, um, it's our money. Yes, there's money that I've made before I got married and there's money my wife has made since being married, since working here for probably a good six and a half years in America. But I've always maintained it's, it's our money and not to have a 50-50 perspective, you could end up kind of slicing things down the middle and say, well, I spent so much on this, so now you have a right to go so spend so much on that. And then it's 50-50, it's but um, I don't know, that still seems too individualistic for my taste. Now, we do have multiple checking accounts. I think it's just easier for some things to have money put away for the future and I have an account that is ours. I mean it isn't a joint it is a joint account. There may be a lot of stuff that that I pay on it, you know, that goes for the two of us, but um, you know, it is an account that we can use for each other and she can she can get into it, do transaction, I can get into it, do a transaction. We try to talk about things beforehand, you know, so there's no unpleasant surprises when it comes to finances. After all, she does have, I mean, we could use her bank account, I guess, but it's just easier for us to have things split up, you know, technically. But as far as the attitude is, my attitude is joint. Joint all the way, because we are to live as one. And when you're married, you have to consider what the other person wants and needs. If you're single, your money is your money, right? You can do whatever you want with it. But once you're married, even if she comes over in the Philippines with no money, I think it's still your money. So then your money, if you're the one that has the money, it's still our money, you know, from her perspective. Then with that perspective, easier to go into a marriage and say, well, we're just going to share everything. We'll maybe put it in one place, um, which is one way of doing it and having everything go to one account and, and then just try to work out a budget, a monthly budget, and then the things that go over that. And um, I think it's helpful to just say, look, we're just going to have one shared account or we're going to share all, all the, all the expenses. If I, you know, if you go 50-50 or you say, well, I'm the one making the money, so I'm going to be the one that spends it, then I would be depriving my wife. And if I deprive her financially, then I am depriving myself. All of marriage is joint. Everything I do, everything I spend my time with could be part of her time. It's part of our life together. So 
want to be sure that, you know, what we're doing is not still slipping into being, you know, like we're, we're single. Um, so money, that's a big thing and causes a lot of stress. But I think the best way to look at it is if you're marrying someone, even a woman from the Philippines who may come over with nothing, that you should still have uh, one account. Let me know what you think about this. To you, this may be a terrible thought. To others, you might say, well, of course, you know, what other way is there to do it? This is just, you know, my thoughts. You know, even if you know, the husband has most or all the money, she, Philippine, is still his wife. They're still partners. He's still responsible to take care of not just needs, but also wants. So sharing, joint accounts, that's why I would prefer it here on Love Beyond the Sea.